Um, Josh, on the, um, the president's changes to the 529 accounts, um, I was wondering if you could square that, um, those changes to um, the, his message at the State of the Union in which he was saying he would support middle class families. Um, as you probably know, uh, the median income for a family using a 529 account is about $140,000. Well, uh, what I would say, Annie, is that the reforms that the President has proposed for the 529 program are reforms that he would consider only in the context of the other education reforms that he put forward. And when you consider that entire package of reforms, uh, the tax cut that we're looking at for middle class families is $50 billion. So there is a pretty substantial down payment in the context of these reforms uh, that's made to help middle class families afford a college education. And the reason for that is simply uh, that we understand and the President understands that a college education has never been more important to getting the kind of good paying job uh, for, uh, for a middle class worker. And make sure that every, uh, uh, every middle class family has the opportunity to pursue uh, a college education for their kids. Um, you know, and there are a variety of proposals the President put forward, some related to the tax code, uh, but some also related to the President's proposal to uh, make community college free. Uh, for hardworking students that are getting good grades. Uh, that would have the benefit of essentially cutting the cost of a four-year education in half. But if you can do the first two years at a community college, have it paid for, uh, then the next two years are something that you can pay for and uh, essentially your, your tuition costs have been cut in half. So consider that alone if just the um, 529 section passed? Uh, that's correct. We would consider that as part of the package of education reform proposals that the President has put forward that would yield a $50 billion tax cut for middle-class families. Tamara. Regarding Yemen.